Welcome to the Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Room 101 Uncle Lee. Definitely an interesting uh, packaging concept here. Very cool. I did cheat a little because I couldn't get it back in the way it was in there, but pretty close. Only because I was curious about the Vitola. I didn't know. I don't think they made it in anything other than this, apparently. This is a uh, Perfecto, which I think are the coolest ever. Um, not a whole lot of smell in there. This thing is hard as a, a, a twig, a stick. This thing is very tightly packed. This looks uh, like straight cut material for sure. Good draw there. Good, definitely a little cocoa flavorness to it. Shouldn't take much to light this up with such a small end there. This is a 6x50, more or less, uh, Perfecto. You look on some sites, they have it all like four different measurements. But I'll just simplify it with that. Rate is medium strength. You sell for about $10. But I got this for free. Gifted to me from, once again, my buddy in Alabama, Austin the Baron. Thank you very much. I would never heard about this cigar until he uh, just sent it to me. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is Nicaraguan Corojo. And the filler is Dominican Piloto Ligero and Honduran Corojo. So it's got ingredients that I like. It's got a shape I like. It's got definitely uh, cool packaging, different than most. It's got a great draw, great smoke output. Room 101, if you didn't know, is yet another Camacho variety. And this is made in Honduras at the uh, one of the Camacho factory down there. Very nice start. Cigars, uh, the Cigar Authority had this to say about it. Originally slated to come in a cereal box, the innovative packaging could have been a nightmare for the cigar industry if it was released that way. Thankfully, the packaging was changed and the cigars saw the release in late 2014. The cigars attribute to Matt Booth's Uncle Lee, who introduced him to cigars. Needless to say, the rest is history. The only thing that's a little takes you get a little used to is such a small gauge on the end of a Perfecto. Same thing happens if you have a bad cut, uh, especially a big, deep V cut, is air getting around your lips and either getting air through or at least making it sound like it. This has got some nice, nice great aroma. It's some nice, rich, deep flavors. Um, I don't know if you can see that band, but it's got the Uncle Lee face there. Or Matt Booth, probably, I guess. One or the other. Oh, it's got both. It's got two faces. There's a face there, and there's Matt Booth right there, which I'm a fan of his stuff. So, very nice start. Great. I don't know how available these are because I looked at, uh, I typed it in and always Cigars International comes to the top. They aren't selling them and none of the retailers I've ever heard of, or any retailers for that matter, came up in the first page of the Google search for this cigar. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I don't know if it's, uh, it's said in this one article that um, I think 50,000 were being made. I like it so far question the availability all right very nice start let's keep going about halfway into this room 101 uncle Lee about 30 minutes burning really nice drawing great but not perfect smoke nice clean finish this is a nice cigar definitely like it and it's got this interesting flavor off of the 
flavor, aroma off of the waft. Some sweetness, but also I'm sensing a little bit of citrus too. That little sting you get, you know, from orange peeling. Uh, the oil's coming off of that, but this is a this is pretty nice. Definitely like this Perfecto. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's in my head. But it seems like I can sense Honduran tobacco. I don't know. It's, and I like it. I'm mean, like I've said before. I, 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 that's probably why I like Camacho so much and the other Room 101s that I've had and um, other Camacho slant Davidoff brands. Pretty good stuff. So I'm enjoying this one. Let's keep going. Well, I'm going to wrap this review of this Room 101 Uncle Lee. An hour and 15 minutes in. Got a little bit left on there. Looks like it's uh, sweating a little bit right there. I don't know if you can pick up the reflection of the oils maybe coming off of there. Either way, it doesn't matter. This is a really nice cigar. I'm enjoying it a lot. Appearance, great packaging, but really nice looking wrapper holding together perfectly. Burning evenly. So appearance-wise, Nothing to mark down for there at all, and I, I love the Perfecto shape. Uh, burn and aroma, perfect there too. Burn's been great, the draw's been perfect. Smoke output's been really nice. Aroma, great. It's got a really nice waft flavor aroma to it. Can't figure out what it is, of course, but uh, flavor-wise, just clean, no bitterness at all. Um, like I said, I've had this for about three weeks. I don't know how long my friend Bear, uh, Austin had it before that, but uh, it's, it's doing great. Strength, for like heroin there, I'm not really getting any strength. So it's, it's I would say medium, maybe, um, which coincides with what I read online about as far as strength. But it's got some good body to it, though. I didn't notice any shifts, but uh, just like the previous cigar I smoked last night, which was um, the BG Meyer, which is kind of similar, where you got complexity, but you don't have strength. Perfect, right exactly what I'm looking for. So I end up giving this 96, and that's a fairly high 96. Um, this has been a really good cigar. I don't know if you can buy them, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll look around and see, but uh, I'm not readily seeing them available. Maybe they're only in stores. Maybe they're not sold online at all. I don't know, but uh, this has been a really nice, pleasurable cigar gonna last an hour and 25 or so get my Havana saver out but uh, no enjoyable cigar would definitely recommend it would definitely buy more this is the room 101 uncle Lee I am Chris at Stogie Palace I will see you in the next video